working on indoor stuff today because it is super cold outside and nasty and I don't really want to be out there. Um, <laughs> so we're going to work on outdoor stuff tomorrow. But before we can get to the outdoor stuff, I really wanted to work on, uh-uh, so I'm going to tap down. Good. Um, we're going to work on holding commands better. Um, sorry, the camera I think is a little crooked. I'll fix that. Um, so we've been just running through commands, having more hold commands, um, mostly sits and downs right now. Um, we'll probably do a little bit of placemat because I'm assuming she knows that. Um, we'll probably work on that maybe Thursday, tomorrow. Um, if the weather is at least not as windy, like that wind chill is kind of up today, um, we'll work outside on a good recall on a long line um, that is really light so she understands um, or thinks that she's off leash. Uh, the long line that I used yesterday was an orange one. It was a little heavier, so it kind of weighs on her a little bit. He's it. Girl. Um, so we wanted to um, get past that her being on long line so she feels like she's more off leash and obviously we don't have a fenced in yard so um, the long line that we use is actually paracord um, so it's really really thin this is actually um, tripled up because it's it's I chained it so um, sit good what we're doing with the remote um, collar or the remote collar is um, I've got her down to six and that's inside so what that means is that is one of the lower numbers that she feels. You down. Down. There we go. So um, you saw right there, I tapped her twice, and then she responded to me. So she understands what it means now, which is the biggest obstacle <laughs> that we can get past. Um, so as long as she understands what the remote means to her, um, so like I said, we're on level six out of a hundred. Um, she was doing okay with seven outside. I'll probably give you a um, higher number outside because when they're outside, obviously there's more distractions and you'll be turning the remote up higher to match those distractions. Um, but for inside, six seems to be working really well for her. We've just been holding those commands. Um, which at the beginning was kind of hard. She wanted to pop up and come towards me um, as often as she possibly could because she's a lovely little girl, aren't you? She's like, I am. Um, but she's doing much better. Also, when I would go to the door, that would normally make her pop up. Ooh, much better. We've improved. So we're in the afternoon now, so we've been working on and off all day on these particular things. All right, come. Yeah, very good. We are not using treats at all. So everything that she's doing now, um, no treats, because that was the main goal here. Um, and she's actually responding pretty well. Now, we'll see what she does on Thursday and Friday, because after she's been doing this a while, she may start thinking, oh wait, I, I think I wanna get some treats with us. What's happened? Sit, good. On, sit. Now what's happening here is she thinks I'm going, I'm walking and she should be at a heel sit. Um, so that's why that was a little more difficult because as I was walking, she's like, oh, I'm going to walk right next to you, which is you know normally okay when we're asking her to do that. But I wasn't asking her to do that. Um, I'm okay if she goes into a down from a sit, um, just because with, especially with labs and larger breeds, um, sitting on the hips can be uncomfortable. Now she does tend to sit on her, her side of her hip, which is good because she's making herself a little more comfortable for that sit, but after sitting for you know a minute or two, a lot of them want to just lay down because it's more comfortable. So I'm always okay with them wanting to lay down and getting in that position, as long as they're not moving and coming towards me. Come. Yes, come on, you're over oh, now. We're gonna park, we're gonna park, we're gonna sit. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. 
So she gets a little um, pouty at times um, when I'm making her hold command. She doesn't really want to hold. Um, yes, I know. You'd rather be playing with your sister, huh? You know. I know. Look at that face. Oh my God. How could you not love that face? Ah, uh -huh. sit. Good girl. Very good. So uh, that just kind of gives you an idea of some of the things we've been doing today. Um, She's right on track. Um, she's a little ahead at this point, which is really good. Uh, we'll see. Like I said, she hasn't challenged me yet on anything. Um, that may still happen, and that's pretty typical for any dog, even a dog that's already been trained to um, kind of start trying to get away with things. She may or may not, I don't know. Um, sometimes five days is enough for them to do it, sometimes it isn't. So she may end up going through this and just being like, I'll do whatever you tell me to do. Okay, yay, yay, good girl, very good, yeah, you good girl. She also is ready for dinner, by the way. Yes, you are, you saw me put that in there when we got you out last time, huh? She's like, yes, I know my food is in my kennel right now, yeah. Um, and by the way, Lady G's doing fantastic. She is a very sweet little girl, so. Um, I have just been separating them from meal time, so um, they are, together at night and then they're together from usually around noon until dinner time so i've kind of been just putting them together for those time frames and then they're separated so they can eat and they can kind of rest and let their stomach settle after they eat as well what do you think she's like i'm okay with that yeah and it also lets them chew on their little raw hides as well so that's good all right <laughs>